I first started swimming at about five years old. My parents wanted us to be water safe, so they put us in swimming lessons. And at about eight, I joined a club to do a little bit more. And by the time I was 11, yeah, I was the fastest breaststroker at that time. And so I made the national team. That began a career of about 17 years of swimming on the national team. While it was fun being on the national team, I was also exposed to a lot of other things that I wouldn't have normally been exposed to at that age. I had to face the media constantly. I couldn't go anywhere without being seen or being asked to do something. I just had no privacy and it was really hard, especially as I was going through my teenage years. And I ended up turning to partying, um, smoking, drinking as a way of escape. And it just got worse and worse and worse each year. I did every kind of vice that you can probably think of. I spiraled into depression. I cut myself to try and get away from internal turmoil. There was no way of escape and I felt like my life was a complete toilet bowl. And then one day my brother asked me to go to church. Even though I went, I fell asleep very early on because I was completely hungover. But towards the end of the service, I just felt compelled to raise my hand up. I think it was when I felt the compulsion to raise my hand that I felt that hope that, well, maybe, maybe if I accept Christ, my life could turn around. I didn't know for sure, but I think at that point my life was so bad that I was willing to try anything. This is where it's so beautiful because the Lord had already provided a way out for me. I had actually been getting calls from coaches in the States offering me full scholarships to go over there to swim. And right about that time also, my coach in Australia had left just very suddenly and I felt why not take that scholarship up in the U.S. now. It would also provide me a way out, a fresh start, a new beginning. Oh, there's no way it could be so coincidental that everything came together at that point. It really had to be the Lord. Today I'm happily married. I've got four kids that I absolutely adore. I am working in a job that is like a dream job to me. Um, life is good. I don't ever regret being a swimmer or taking the path that I did. It's like the Bible says, He turns your ashes into beauty. If you ever feel like your life has no more meaning, if you ever feel like you are in a hole that you can't get out of, if you ever feel like there's just darkness all around you, know that the Lord loves you. He's there for you. He's a savior. And whatever you need saving from, He will save you in a most amazing way. So don't lose hope because God really loves you. We invite you to the Celebration of Hope happening from the 17th to the 19th of May at the National Stadium. We'll see you there.